How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and what you're looking at is a Dolphin Diagnostic Advantage by Matronics. And if you're curious what that is, that's a pool cleaning robot. If you know my videos, you'll know I have a pool. And you can see I kind of have this thing all apart. I've got the manual, I've got the bag that picks up everything. And I've got some parts taken apart, the screen, drive motor, up there is the cable, and over here is the motor compartment, and there's a motor in there and some counterweights, and I also have the power supply. So why am I showing you this? Because it's broken. I picked this thing up in broken, non-working condition because... The guy that was selling it was selling it for 10 bucks. And if you know anything about pool robots, they cost a thousand. So I don't know why he only wanted 10 bucks. I don't know how long he was trying to sell it, but he wanted 10 bucks and it looked like it was in pretty nice shape. And I figured I'd give it a go. So what do I know about pool robots? Well, I already told you, they cost a thousand bucks. And that's all I needed to know. So now I took this thing apart and I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with it. And I, I determined what was wrong with it. So I did a little bit of troubleshooting with this thing. The first thing I did is I read the back of this power supply and it said that it's, it should have about 24 volts. So uh, I took my meter and there's a, a socket over here with uh, four openings and uh, I was able to get I think I got about 29 volts so right away I knew the power supply was good and also the the light was lighting up the next thing that I did is I took the power supply and I hooked it up to the wire that feeds to the robot and uh, what I noticed when I checked for power at the end of this wire was I wasn't getting any power. So I pulled this out of the motor compartment and I ran a continuity test. So from here you could see that there are three prongs and uh, there's two wires on the back, a black and a white, and that's all that they're supposed to be. So I hooked up to those two prongs and I checked for continuity and I did have continuity so I, I determined that the wire was good then I got to thinking about what I was reading on the internet um, uh, basically I, w I was looking for parts on eBay and just reading up on some stuff and you know they, they mentioned that this was a four prong plug well I have an Aquabot and that thing has four prongs maybe no it has three prongs but once again there's only two wires used so this one is showing three prongs and using two wires just like my aquabot so I got to thinking a little more and uh, I came to the conclusion that this wire was actually good and maybe the problem was with the power supply so I retested that and I got 29 volts and when I looked in at the the power supply I noticed that when I opened it up there's two wires that go to that plug a white and a black and when I looked in the uh, hole here there's four holes um, basically, when I looked at the male plug that aligns in there, I noticed that there was a missing prong. So that brought me back over here. I looked at this wire. There are three prongs in there. And like I read on the internet, I think someone was selling one of these cables and they called it a four prong cable. Well, my four prong cable only has three prongs. So I can't quite hook it up to this stupid plug that this thing has. So what I did 
is I, I removed these terminals. That's my power going to the uh, robot. And I hooked up these little jumper wires here. I got to be careful because these capacitors are charged. I got 29 volts there. And then I hooked all that up to the motor box. So I got some gator clips and all this stuff. And basically the long or the short is when I turn this thing on it lights up and there's good news. My motors are all running. It's, it's trying to figure out you know where it is and if there's water see it thinks it got stuck so now it's going in reverse so the moral of the story is I'm gonna turn this thing off before it overheats uh, you know it really pays to look at anything before you decide to get rid of it so the guy I got this from I, you know pretty pretty easy fix like if you notice when you plug something in that a prong falls out you might want to look at that a little closer so anyhow I think I got this thing figured out so I'm gonna put it back together and uh, yeah so I just figured I'd film this and we'll see what happens and I'll put this up for you guys so the question is how can I fix it well the good news is there's only two wires and they have it set up for a prong for four wires. So either I can switch out that plug, which I might do with just like a standard like computer plug or something, or uh, I can shift those wires and use a different pin combination because right now there's, there's two pins not being used. So I'll probably just shift the wires if that's not too hard to do. And then... Uh, We'll throw this thing in the pool in the spring. So here we are taking a look at the terminal. And uh, what we're going to do, since this thing's missing a pin where this black wire was attached in this hole, there's two other pins that aren't being used. So I'm going to tin this up and I'm going to put this wire in this other hole here. And uh, there's this little gold clip that I have to push down in that hole with the wire once I tin it. So at this point we've made our connection so one of these terminals here there we go that's our black wire and I'll just double check the white wire so that's good everything's looking good on that side now all we have to do is the same thing onto the transformer so if you're watching this video and you have one of these dolphins and you plug in your power supply, you should hear a hum from the transformer right when it turns on. If you don't hear that hum, you need to do a little bit of uh, inspecting. The first thing you want to look at are these capacitors. You can buy this little board with the capacitors off eBay. And the next thing you want to look at is the bridge rectifier. If your capacitors are good, they're not bubbled, and there's continuity between them, then you can look at the bridge rectifier. And you can replace that, find that part on eBay as well. Um, the transformer, if that's shot, it's going to be too expensive to get that replacement part. Um, I would just recommend buying a brand new, or buying a used power supply probably from like eBay. If we look over here, here's your motor box. This thing sells for 500 bucks. They don't sell any of these parts. They sell a motor box for 500 bucks. If you're going to send this thing back to Dolphin to repair it, it's going to be about $900. And that's just what I read online. Um, in here, you have a couple. There's a pump and a motor. This is your drive motor. This is the thing that uh, basically uh, pushes the uh, water out of the top of the unit and there's a circuit board this circuit board um, 
from what I read, goes bad on a lot of these units, and it's not replaceable. So I couldn't find any used ones on eBay, and uh, they want you to replace the entire box. So if that happens, uh, you're pretty much screwed. So uh, that's not good. You can individually test these two motors. I just hooked them up to 12 volts, so I have a a uh, power supply unit I used here. I just set it up to 12 volts and I individually hooked up the motor. This one turned and that one turned. Even though the thing's 24 volts, 12 was able to turn them. So I knew my motors were working right from the get-go. The only thing I didn't know that it was working was this board and I wasn't sure. I thought the board was bad, but then I found the uh, wire connectivity problem and that would be actually the first thing I'd look at if your unit's not working and you hear the power supply humming double check this plug is all together right because it gets twisted around and uh, every time you plug it in something could come loose one other thing you guys should know about these uh, motor boxes is when they manufacture this they put a big package of uh, that silica gel that's like the little stuff that comes in the box when you get your sneakers it's supposed to prevent moisture well they put a big paper package of that in here and the package the paper ripped open and that that crystal was all over the place all over the circuit board and that stuff picks up moisture so if there's moisture in it, it can short out your circuit board and that's why they're having so many problems with these circuit boards shorting out I also saw some pictures of some units that in here inside this drive motor uh, that silica gel actually worked its way in here and this motor started separating because of that so if you hear like a sand when you flip your unit back and forth you better open it up and pour that out of there and they have a gasket on here because all this stuff goes underwater um, I'm gonna put some RTV sealant or some silicone on that before I put it back together and if you don't know how these wires go on here it's white black red on the end one two three white black red so I rewired this thing that's firing up I got this plugged in and down here you can see everything's moving the way it's supposed to so I don't want to overheat anything so I got this thing all back together everything went back pretty nice if you're doing this project the uh, little screws that you have to put in to hold the motor I just dipped my screwdriver in grease and that held the screws because the screws are stainless steel they don't stick to a magnetic screwdriver but we're all back together and uh, I guess I'd like to recommend at this point if you uh, are interested in buying a pool robot I would go with the Aquabot because you can buy every single part for the Aquabot and uh, you know if you need to fix it eventually it's going to break down I happen to have an Aquabot I've had it about four years I think and I haven't had any issues with it and I do have a video on that if you're interested in seeing it in action I also have a video uh, that shows how I store the Aquabot when not in use well I know what you're thinking you'd love to see this thing running in my bathtub with my wife looking at it seems to be working pretty good I just need a bigger pool to run it in so so far so good 